Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimmy Lee, and today I'll be fishing the double fluke rig. Let's go. a YouTube video I was watching of course our good old buddy Mike one rod one wheel and he was fishing at Lock Raven Reservoir and I saw that he was throwing this rig that I've never seen in my life uh, he basically was throwing two flukes in one uh, one rod I was like holy smokes a two fluke rig so I went on uh, YouTube and I was looking it up and I found Scott Martin actually made a video a while back on how to actually tie this so it's Pretty simple. Uh, you have basically a swivel, and the swivel ties into um, fluorocarbon, and you have one line of fluke, and then within another swivel right here, this actually is a free line swivel. You actually put the swivel within the line and actually get to slide back and forth, and this line is going to be six inches uh, less than the other guy, and that's how you get the double rig. And I'm getting this thing tangled up uh, like an idiot. But um, essentially, when you guys actually swim this guy, uh, it's going to be swinging back to back like two shads going through the water. Uh, it goes really well with a lot of different types of jerk shads, uh, soft plastic jerk bait. You'd be fishing this guy basically high in a water column. And um, since I'm so interested in this, especially in fall, is right around the corner, I'm going to go uh, try, up a couple, try out a couple uh, rigs in preparation for fall uh, fishing. So. Let's go out there and see what I can catch with this rig right here. Here we go. Ah, uh, got it right in the gunk. But it is a fish. It's number two, successfully hooked. All right. Got him right here. All right, guys. Put him back in. Changed the fluke rig up just a little bit. I actually using uh, Power Team Lord's JP Hammer Shad, uh, the 3.6 inch one, because there's a lot of smaller fish here. And earlier I was using soup, uh, the Super Fluke Junior, so it's about the same size, but just this is a tad bit smaller. So let's see if I can get a couple more strikes this evening. Here we go. All right. Got it at the end one. Maybe very soon I'll get a double up. That'll be very epic. Here's another one. Ooh, dang it. Go ahead and pull it through the weeds. And I am super tangled. Ooh, something blowing out there. And there's a fish. Small one. Okay, okay. Whoop. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. I got you, bud, I got you, bud. All 
All right. <laughs> Woo! These guys here are vicious. Oh, here's one right here. Guys, man, splashy, splashy. It's still good, though. That's the problem with that. It's almost like every kid here cleaning the hell out. Yep. Small bass. Ow, it got me. Alright, this guy's tangled up. It's a good concept guys right here, but you guys see this fish is so tangled. I got him. I got him. But now my rig is done. Holy smokes, look at that. Alright, I gotta clean this up. Look at that, it's a dinky bass. The guy, the culprit of all those little um, nips, but no catch. But I got him this time. There we go. Alright, which one did he hit? Hit the trailing one, and the other one's beat up. Alright. Cool beans. Peace out. Alright guys, I am going to do my, I guess the last few casts here because it's getting dark. And eventually, you won't be able to see anymore. And uh, I think this is an awesome rig, you know. I gotta thank uh, One Rod One Reel for using this lure at his last um, fishing mishap at Loch Raven. Um, and then I looked up Scott Martin, and he did a really, really good detail um, instructions on how to rig this. So if you look at my description below, I would definitely, definitely um, encourage you guys to look at the description. There is gonna be a URL on uh, that video that I saw from Scott Martin. So you guys can learn how to use this rig. I can see that I'll be using this rig on my kayak, probably fishing some South Jersey water where there's gonna be a lot of shad in the fall time. Uh, this is gonna be key of honing in some of those uh, feeding fish. And man, I can't wait to see if I could get two fish at one time. That's gonna be my goal for the next time I use this in upcoming fall fishing. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really wish I could have pulled a bigger one for you guys this evening, which is why I keep talking right now as I'm extra while I am trying to end this video. Um, by the time I reel this video in, it's, I mean this, uh, this line in, it's the end. So uh, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Peace out guys.